fantastic. I look at Pepe a lot of the time. Most of the time when I see him get the ball, he's on like the halfway line with his back to goal. He's not one on one with the fullback, back, kind of the pitch close to the penalty area with the full back overlapping. I heard someone yesterday talking about Morris and he was saying, oh, you know, Morris this, but I'm saying, Morris gets the ball one on one with full backs on the edge of the penalty area. Kyle Walker's on the over. They're almost SCP double teaming. As a level the one you never see that with, the with Pepe. The races, I actually think Pepe's best partnership was with Maitland Niles as, uh, as well last season. So I think Arteta's has got to be, he's got to be a bit less structured and just say, look, the strength in our team is our attack in my opinion. It's not the defence and it's not the midfield. Get more out of that from three. You might want this defensive structure, but you don't have the players to have that solid defence. As, as I said here, we've only got two real quality defenders. So you might have to sacrifice that defence. People say we're structurally better this season defensively. Well, we've lost four. Out of eight games, so right, we might have conceded less goals. But whether you're losing one nil, two nil, ultimately is not that much of a difference. You know, we can't really take positives because we went to Manchester City and lost lost one nil rather than two nil or three nil. Ultimately, you your aim is to win them games. So I think Arteta's got to be a little bit more expansive, um, a little bit more free flowing. The way we were counter attacking last season when we won that FA Cup. You have to bring that into the league form. And this is why I've been so harsh on him. Because to me, you judge a manager off what he does in the league, you know, because that is, can you produce that every week? Turning up to two or three cup games and winning the FA Cup, that buys you a little bit of time, that gives you that little bit of credit in the bank and that emotion that you are with the FA Cup, it was great. But every week when you're facing all these different managers, can you produce it? And at the moment, I feel like he's being out tactically by managers some managers who aren't even necessarily better anymore just because they're a little bit more flexible they're a little bit more proactive you know dean smith came from league one he was at walsall this guy hasn't had the upbringing that Mikel arteta's had in football under wenger and pep guardiola but these guys are actually outsmarting him tactically you know so he's got to wake up i think the next three games for arteta are going to be a massive you know, turning point one way or another in this season. He's up against Bielsa, Nuno and Mourinho in the next three games, so he's got to sort it out quickly, man, because the pressure's building on <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, well said, well said. So, so far then, we've talked about, in terms of changes, we've discussed uh, people we think should come into the team. By the way, I agree with both of you guys on what you said, so we do agree that the likes of Pepe uh, should come in, we should come in, and Banya play through the middle. We spoke about the formation. Um, we spoke about how we may address the lack of creativity and goals, which is changing the mindset and you know quicker play, you know quicker passing and so forth. One of the areas that um, has been highlighted as a possible weakness of uh, Arteta, and it's something that myself and Curtis spoke about last week, and I'm very interested to hear Deludi's views on this. Is uh, a lot of people have questioned Arteta's man management.
Jesus Christ! Oh my God, this is impossible. management's good but it's also a bit mixed i think also the manager regardless of if i feel lacazette should start or pepe should start especially when we haven't got a leg to stand on or he doesn't because we're not playing well he does have the luxury whether i believe in these things or not to use the team in whatever way he, he pleases you know if he if he feels that arteta i mean if arteta deems that lacazette is showing him what he wants on the field i might think it's crazy but what can i what can i really say there's a lot of question marks and i'd say one reason one reason i'm more annoyed about arteta this year is there's more questions than answers he was so a lot of answers last season you know i can see a lot and it's not that it's all him directly but you could always you could kind of we knew from last season this was going to be a thing so we can't be surprised i think his man management is decent because i mean we all mentioned make him now he might have been you know paid for talk but he said i stayed because arteta convinced me that this is the best place for me to improve so i don't know if Blame him. <laughs> Again, he's not blaming him, and I agree with that. But there must be something said then. If, if I can feel whatever I want, but if Maitland now feels this is the best, then that it, it's all fair. It's all fun and games to him. I don't really see because I don't know. And I, I, one thing I liked when he came is that he's not. He didn't necessarily have allegiances to players. But now I'm not really seeing anything because you look at Jacker and David Luiz. David Luiz wasn't supposed to be. <laughs>
We've seen Portsmouth win FA Cups. Winning an FA Cup doesn't necessarily mean you're a great manager or that is a great team. It's so what they, they Wigan, on, Wigan won the FA Cup and got relegated in the same season. And there you go, there you go. So I looked at the FA Cup as a building block. You know, that's a great... We've got a Europa League. We've got that addition of cash. You convinced the Bamiang to stay. You've got to build on that. So what I don't want to see him do is take us back to where we were when Henry left and then... You know, the manager, because I think Arteta's got to be careful. At the moment, you've got the trust in that dressing room of the players. Clearly, Meza Ozil isn't going to lie. Maitland Niles is probably looking at him a bit sideways. You know, you, you ain't got to lose the whole dressing room. You've only got to lose four or five big characters and it's gone and you can't get it back. So he's got to be careful. He's got to be careful. But his man management, I think he's learning on the job. So. He's going to make mistakes, but I think if they're winning games of football, they'll forgive him for his mistakes. Okay, that's great, man. Now, listen, I'm conscious we're uh, I'm conscious of time. We're moving on. Um, we're moving on at a good pace. Enjoying the we're moving on, more so. Um, I just wanted to ask Deludi very, very briefly. One, another one of the areas that's been highlighted as an area of concern is um, the lack of proactivity in Arteta when it comes to his substitutions. So, for example. Typically, what we'll see is 65th, 70th minute. You know what's gonna, it's going to be Lacazette for Eddie. Or it may be, you know, Pepe for William. But pretty much all night for night.
fucking hell! Dirty cunt! It was just about a blueprint because when I look at teams like Leicester, even Southampton right now, you know, Wolves, I see what the team collectively from the player to the management to people above are trying to do. And it's you're almost jealous of it. When I look at Arsenal, I don't know what we're trying to really do. And to a degree, how much can Arteta say? You know, all we can do is just get us playing in a way similar to Pochettino for a number of years at Spurs. I know people won't be happy. We're looking at it, okay, it's the same stuff. Like, why are we really splashing the cash? Is it as basic as that? I'm not too sure, but. Yeah, man, it's, it's a four for everyone. We're not, you know, the problem isn't, isn't there. The inconsistencies haven't been there, whether we've won, lost, or drawn, or win and lose and enjoy the games. I never get the vibe that off we want to win a game of football. Very rarely, you know. Only, I'd say, second half against Sheffield. You know, the game against Fulham was good. I'll give credit to the players for beating the United side or being the United side. That's inconsistent. That's that's cup form for me. That's what they said, you know. That's adding up three, four times. It's consistency over the league. And the players have got to want to fix up. Do you think you have to tell Liverpool and City players the ramifications for effing up week in, week out? They know. Arteta, it seems that Arteta has to continuously tell these players what's at stake and it, mentality needs to change, you know, but Arteta can only do so much. And for Arteta, for me, fundamentally, learn fast. The things you're not doing well at, learn fast. And I have to say, are there, are there people who doesn't have yes men? Uh, for me, I want to expect, put him with some real guys that are more experienced than him as part of his coaching staff to tell him, I don't think he should do that. You know, has he got people condoning what he's doing right now? Has he got any conflicting, with best interest in heart, conflicting reports from his coaching staff? And that's why who you're surrounded by is central. And I'm looking at the club because if you know he's a novice, if you know, you know, he is going to struggle, but it's his first job. Surround him with, with everything. And have we done the best in the transfer market? Have we done the best in all other thingies? Only any, only, only an Arsenal fan needs to know this sort of thing, but I'm pretty sure that's going to say no, sort of thing. Okay, okay. PS3 graphics. See, this is why you need to change your money. Jeez, come on. Driving a straight line, at least.
Jesus Christ! Oh, nice one. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? Fucking pile of shit card. Okay, that's great. Brian, thanks for your contributions on that. Uh, moving swiftly on again, uh, our last segment of this week's show is uh, oh, one of our regular features, and it's called Ox of the Week, which is basically where you look at Arsenal's no. next fixture and have a quick preview and see uh, what you guys think, and I'll ask you to give a game prediction. Um, so, we know that this weekend we play Leeds at home, uh, sorry, away. Uh, in the Premier League. Uh, Leeds are currently 15th. They've played eight games. Um, they had a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, what, they won three, they beat Fulham, they Sheffield United, and they beat Villa 3 0. Uh, they've drawn the one game against Man City. That's a very creditable draw. Um, and they've also lost four. Uh, they've lost to Liverpool, they've lost to Wolves, they've lost to Leicester, and they've lost to Crystal Palace. And I know that um, in those losses, they've conceded quite a few goals. So, you know, um, so they can be scored against. This question is, can we score against them? So, I'll, I'll go for Curtis this one. Leeds versus Arsenal. This weekend, man. What do you personally think of Leeds so far this season? I mean, I like the style of football. Um, I remember when we played them last year in the FA Cup and I think we was at that game as well and they were bopping us off the pitch first half. I know we beat them in the second half, but they've got a great style of football and that's what I'm saying, you know, you watch that Leeds team, you can see Bielsa's philosophy on the pitch playing itself out. That's what we need. I think the thing is, Leeds are beatable. As you said, they concede a lot of goals. Um, they kind of leave themselves open because they're very attacking, very Why? Wow. Look at that um, car. But the problem is, are oh, we going to expose I... them deficiency? <laughs> How can we exploit them? Do you know what I mean? So, the, I think the sad thing for me is, I can't honestly say with my hand on heart that I'm really confident we're going to win this game. I feel we should win this game because it's ultimately we've got a better team than Leeds. Leeds were in the championship last season. No disrespect to them. Again, it, it's down to the manager and how he, you know, is he going to be fearful of the answer and paying too much respect and sit back and let them come on to us? Or is he going to say, you know what, I need to play on the front foot a little bit more and show these about what the Premier League's about. So, I think we can beat them. I think, I think all the Arsenal team will be rearing to go after that Villa game. They know that the fans would have been unhappy. They all see social media, so they've got to, they've got to show some fight and bounce back. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a must win for us. That's how great it is. It's a must win game. Uh, Patrick Bamford quite. Now that's a question that uh, ago <laughs> people may have laughed at that with respect. <laughs> Road. Jesus.
this thing's all over the place. Oh my days. Controls are awful. Jesus, that is terrible. Piss off. It, probably, it sounds stupid, but it probably comes down to which team makes the least mistakes and which team scores the most goals. And when you look at it, God, you score more than us, but I think we've actually got a clean sheet record with them if it's not tied. I think both goalkeepers have two clean sheets apiece. So it should be an open game. It probably means it's going to be an all boring game. Both teams are a bit tentative and a bit negative, and it's going to take a little bit of individual brilliance. I am now that you, I can't lie to you, you're kind of selling me a bit the way you're playing the stats. I'd want to be a bit more open. I was of the belief of let's not change too much because we haven't tactically had enough time. I'm thinking, can we be a bit more open against them? Can we be a bit, a bit more expansive? Can we just shoot? No, I'm, I'm, you know what? Um, it's interesting that people talk about um, our defence and stuff and goals and score, but if you look at our goal difference, it's actually minus one. So we're patting ourselves on the back for our, our resoluteness and our improvement in our defensive record, but we have actually conceded 10 goals so far this season. We've only scored nine, so that minus one. Whereas Leeds have got a goal difference in minus four. I think we can see clearly here that both teams can be scored. Both teams can't defend really and truly, you know. Defensive deficiencies are highlighted obviously more, but clearly both teams can't defend. I do wonder, like I said, it comes down to the mental game for me, because tactics are one thing, but I look at Leeds, you know, everything's going good for them. I know they've lost two. 4-1 defeats back to back, forgive me if I'm wrong, um, that could be demoralising, but they're, as collectively as a club, you know, they're getting more plaudits, we've got more question marks. If for me it's which goal, how does the team, if we can see for us, they Great start. What happens if you score the first one, but also if you can see it? I'm not saying that that's not team, but the way we're playing, you can't convince the same way you're going to get three points and get a result. It's true, it's not a lot of people who score it, but it's very good. The players have to convince the final and the final players have to convince the final and the final players have to convince the final players. We're talking about the final players, 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 we're tal
on the road, come on man. Fucking hell. about sports they walk you through everything step by step showing you how to accumulate money into your bank account so get involved right now click the link in the description and sign up to profit accumulator right now cool that's nice that is nice this is AMTV VIP the official web app Members only content has no ads and a live in game map center. The bias predictor, it has daily polls and the AFTV 11 select. Special Just one. BMWZ4S drive 35IS is a modern reinterpretation. Good morning, of hello everyone. Following the footsteps of the 1970s, I've got my guy James been waiting, but this is a, this is a, this is a, this is a tough one. I mean, Friday, it's supposed to be like vibes, gas, Friday feeling, it's just been excited for the weekend, Sunday we're back against Leeds, but yeah, the news, the news, the news, and I've been clicking through the comments, you know, as I always do before the show starts, and one of my voices says, are you serious right now, Cecil and James, and I can ask this by myself, as you can ask this by myself. I'm going to 
Oh my god. What the hell? Where am I? This car cannot drive in a straight line. It is all over the place. Oh my god. Miles by. I'm not enjoying that. You know, unimaginative book was we have done in recent weeks. Like, it, do you know what I mean? Like, as no. a fan, what what means to you? Because I am leaning towards the performance side of things. Like, we're going to drop points all season. We're not the finished article. So I'm like, I'd actually rather see us go and play really well. Yeah, it's changed. <laughs> That definitely, but like also being in being at ATV and being in the serious job role as well. If we lose the run that we get from other fans now and like people, that's that's what's gonna happen. Like, we're not gonna do but that, that's why I feel like the performance is gonna is, matters uh, most right now. I feel like it's like when Gareth Southgate took over in England um, and he played all the youngsters, and we was all just like, we don't care where we get, just as long as we play well, we, we, we got surprised. That's kind of how I feel right now with Arthur, I feel like we have so many injuries, um, we're kind of, we're kind of, yeah, I don't know, we're, 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 the, we're kind of the under, well, I have an underdog mentality for this Sunday, if I'm honest, I'm just hoping that, yeah, hopefully we get to see the likes of Willock um, come in, or like, yeah, the young the younger players get them out, and hopefully proving that they're there. Oh, I hate 
come on! Oh my god, he nearly didn't fucking pit me there. Oh, Jesus. Fucking. I mean, it, it, there's a possibility, James. I'm just, I'm keeping up for now. This is, I'm going to speak about who would you, what is your front, uh, not front, your midfield three for this Sunday. We've got now Arsenal playing Jacker and Danny as a two, and then and Saka in the ten. Right, that's no. If, if we're going to assume Hart is out, who would you want for that midfield three, James? That's no. And also, this one, I'm going to say, this thing is, I just, the, the Jasper and Danny survives definitely. I, I, that seems likely. That seems like the obvious option. I don't know about Sam on ten. I, I believe he has the ability to do it, but I don't think he's proven enough to play there. Um, for well, Arteta, I don't believe will, will take that risk because he's not proven. I feel like it's either it's either a young it's either a young player, which I doubt he will. Um, I doubt he will start Willick there, but I feel like Willick will be the like for like swapped in the ten. But I actually believe. If this is all true to, uh, to be true, then Partey's out. The Porsche um, engineers knew exactly I, I think what they were doing to make the ten. new 911 GT2 RS the most um, powerful we, Porsche for the world. Oh, oh, sorry, all Jack got um, heat and then the water cooled the supplies and, and by two of the most direction with Norvell technology, yeah. water turbine geometry, VTG, yeah. and Vario Cam Plus. And be running at right backs. He he seems to have added that to his game in the last couple of months, like that ability to drop a shoulder and beat a man and get across him. And I really like that. It's quite traditional, but it, it's good. I like it. Um, so, so I'm not, not in midfield for me, but I think I have to go with the Lions. Um, yeah. 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 Oh 
are you doing? Fuck's sake! Bronze. <sighs> Fucking bullshit. Amitesh Rajan is Nigerian businessman seriously going to take over? And um, James is James did the coverage of this. It, it, I don't know. <laughs> Background check on this guy. I mean, I, I um, 
when I put his name into Google Images, so I was looking at something for a thumbnail and I was thinking of you know, jumping on Getty and seeing what it was. Um, I see a headline, Orgy Kalu has been released from prison. So I don't know what his history is or what's gone on. I don't know anything. I'm not making accusations. Let's get out there. But, um, yeah. Bro, you're trying to get yourself fucking down with them accusations there. <laughs> <laughs> that was class. Um, yeah, fair. I, I, yeah, you got to be careful. I don't know too much about it. Um, I don't know too much about it, but yeah, again, I think it's early, early, early days. Obviously, he can probably in the spring can say that whether it's gonna have a to actually get him sent to the club. Better than none. Jeez. Oh, I, I don't know. I shouldn't. That's bad. Better than none. We've got to take um, 
you've got to start taking him seriously at the source. Like, he, she, you know, this, this great organisation is. Um, <laughs> but look, we did plenty of um, praising yesterday. Look, um, just uh, an update from me. So I've got uh, the club I'm looking at both. Um, it's almost like potentially in January, an hour in the summer. They did say none of this was concrete. They just sort of, they feel the evidence nice towards our being a player will go back in for um, and that supposedly our and Partey were maybe both being targeted this summer but for whatever reason the our deal didn't happen I just stop hating um, and uh, and then so Boswell is available this January and I think I think um, a spokesperson it might have been the manager at Salzburg said that he expects Zomazar like to be gone in Jan. So, look, interesting developments. Um, not really a lot to touch on there. But I think what I would say about this is it wouldn't surprise me if the club were looking to get both. It really wouldn't surprise me. Like, if you look at where Arteta came from with City and the plethora of attacking talent they had and the ability they had to squeeze, you know, they, they'd squeeze two creative midfielders into one midfield. Or maybe Bernardo Silva would play out the right if he had to. You know, they they be, they believe their philosophy under Guardiola was, you know, midfield dominance was key. And I just wonder whether, you know, Arteta maybe is thinking, you know what, it's not Zobba's lie or Alwar, it's both. I genuinely need both. Like, they yeah. they are both going to be crucial to the way we want to play. We want to dominate at the highest level. Um, so interesting to see that, you know, just a, a report there saying that it's not, it's not one or the other. Again, with the whole party I work in back in the summer, it's not one or the other. I, you know, I think they are going to try and do both because this midfield would need serious upgrading. Yeah, that is okay, fair. I mean, I, well, what's the, I'm trying to think of the price of, of the book. So, what's, what's the I don't 
So I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get both in this next window, or at least definitely in this moment. I want to quickly, <laughs> obviously yeah. we're going back, I want to touch on this as well. T.J. Pilsen says, have you seen mention about William's so day behaviour? Now, we spoke about this yesterday, and I'm laughing, but I'm actually getting wound up because we have a lot of problems right now. We've got William who needs, needs to be confirmed as negative from COVID. We've got obviously El Nelly. Confirmed as having um, COVID-19 so he's out. Uh, Partey is currently injured in the midfield. Yeah, there's um, Saka has been. I'm not. I'm not saying he's not. He's not available, but he's played the, probably the highest amount of minutes at an international break out of anyone uh, for England. So yeah, do you know what I mean? That's a problem. I've been sleeping around at the airport. So. <laughs>
God. This is terrible. Oh, this game, honestly. Very disappointing. Absolutely terrible. We hope to see him. Thank you for watching. I'm going to end it as I always end it with.